Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here again. So today we're going to look at the Blue Eddy PV420 solar panel. It's a brand new foldable portable solar panel that uh, Blue Eddy just came out with. Um, it's uh, retailing right now on their website at about $8.99, so about $900. Uh, this is what it looks like here. Uh, it has uh, four panels. I believe they're wired in parallel. And you have uh, metal stands, which is nice because that's that's very heavy duty. It's not a cardboard. It's actually a metal stand. Um, you have uh, the, du the the dual handle. So when you when you fold this up here, it creates like a large briefcase. And being that there's two handles, that's nice because um, any model that has one handle is more pressure on that one handle. So if you can spread that weight out. Um, it's like a weight displacement kind of thing. Uh, it, it's less pressure on these end tabs here on the handle, so that's nice. Um, let's see, you got uh, here's the stands, the metal stands. You got three of them. There's four panels, but only three stands. So this is kind of like a center panel. So I'm assuming that this panel here doesn't have its own stand. So this one's kind of in the middle here, just to kind of offset that. Yep, see how it's kind of big space here. It'd be nice if they put another pouch right there, hey, just for, you know, miscellaneous stuff, extra cables or whatnot, adapters. Um, and then you have up to 23.4% uh, conversion rate. The, uh, the efficiency of these panels are getting better every year, it seems, so that's nice. Uh, easy setup with kickstand, durable, and splash-proof. That means it's probably IP65. We'll have to look at that in a minute. Uh, foldable and portable, uh, 420 solar power for fast charging long lasting coating so if, if the material is nice i've seen one of these in real life uh i i don't have one yet i wish i have one uh, i i'd like one of everything but obviously life doesn't allow you to do that so until you get it you kind of research it this way so here's your 23.4 percent conversion rate that's the cells that's the efficiency of the cells here's your adjustable kickstand now the nice thing about the kickstand is it has this little strap right here and you can put it at 35 45 or 55 degrees on an angle most panels usually kind of they kind of stay around this 45 degree angle which is like known as the sweet spot uh it's uh fall summer kind of thing to where you know it's kind of in between both so you don't have to keep adjusting it but it is very nice that with uh, Blue Eddy put the strap on here so you can actually adjust it and that way if you're at uh, that summertime you can put it at that 55 and if you're at that winter time you can put it all the way up to that 35 so you know when that sun's lower in the horizon um, here you got MC4s that's industry standard it's awesome uh, grade A mon monocrystalline solar panels that's uh, I, I, I'm not a fan of polycrystalline I, I don't know why maybe I just don't like the look of them um, I, I think these are more efficient. Uh, I, I call them mono panels. I think mono panels are more efficient. Okay, so here's your, your splash proof uh, I65. That, that, that's what I thought. It's IP65. So you obviously don't want to expose this to long term moisture or water. Uh, you want to put them away if, uh, if you got some weather coming in. Um, there's a fellow with a laptop in the middle of nowhere with a Blue Eddy. Uh, looks like the AC Max or AC 200 Max, but that 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 would be interesting. <laughs> Heck of a place to work. Um, let's see. Uh, there's the lady camping. Okay, and then you got here's your material. Your I65 IP65 splash proof with monocrystalline panels. It just kind of shows how the layers are put together. Um, here you go. no oh, no this this is nice because it shows an, uh, a close up of that angle that's very nice though that you can just kind of clip these uh, they kind of snap in there as you adjust the you know the uh, angle of that that's that's very nice uh, hassle free carrying I saw that the dual handle on there is nice there's one on one set of two panels and one on the other set when you put them together it, it makes uh, uh, two handles it looks like. Um, let's see what else we got. Okay, that's all that. And then now here comes the good stuff, guys. This is this is where the money is here. So, uh, no, no matter what you look at, I mean, you can like what it looks at or lo looks like, but it it all this is the brass tax right here. This comes down to the spe uh, the the hard specs here. Uh, so your weight is just just a hair under thirty one pounds. Uh, not not bad at all. Not bad for for you know four hundred and twenty watts of panels. Uh, the most I've seen, I've, I've, I've watched watched a few reviews on these already um, the most that I've seen one reviewer get is 385 watts now that's obviously uh, per where you live and you know the the angle of the Sun and everything but th that's the highest I've seen that's not a bad output I, I always look for that hundred percent output or more but it's very hard to find that guys it really is uh, your height is about 38 and a half inches 
it's 38.3 but figure 38 and a half inches uh, and then 105 inches long so it, it that, that's a beefy panel guys that's a big panel uh, so you have, definitely have to have the space to put that in um, 420 here's your lamination uh, this I cannot even pronounce Ulysian tetrafluoroalkylene I'm gonna I'm gonna take a stab at that and just uh, say it's uh, heavy duty stuff but I'm not sure I can't even pronounce that uh, monocrystalline silicon is the, the cells of course 23.4 percent is the efficiency now this is this is the the, the, the big money thing here uh, open circuit the VOC that's the most important thing because if you hook up uh, too much uh, open circuit voltage to your power station and it can't take it you can break your power station uh, you can destroy your cells and overcharge them and, and overpower them uh, your short circuit current is 12.2 amps and then here's your general uh, which is a connector standard MC4 that's pretty much industry standard guys right now uh, just under 31 pounds 14 kilograms uh, here's your dimensions again um, but now here's the dimensions folded so this is nice so you have just a hair under the 30 uh, uh, 39 inches so about 38 and a half inches still so that doesn't change uh, but the 25 uh, what is that 25 point so about 26 inches so 38 by 26 that's small enough to put in a trunk or behind a seat uh, you could put that in a semi rig you can put that in a van you can put that in an RV so that that gets down small enough guys to where you can have 400 plus watts possibly uh, in the middle of nowhere and then you fold it up and put it away so if you had you know two three four five six of these things holy cow you could bring in a lot of power guys you know in the middle of nowhere and then you know put them up and take them down whenever you want uh, average operating temperature is 14 degrees Fahrenheit so they're really not made for the, the the cold winter days all the way up to 150 I don't think we're gonna have days like that who knows with the global warming and all this stuff going on with the world maybe we'll get to 150 one day hopefully not you know I, I like summertime but not that much um, for those across the pond it's uh, negative 10 degrees Celsius up to 65 Celsius um, best work at temperature 77 that's usually average usually 70 to 80 degrees is usually uh, a sweet spot for uh, most solar panels I, I actually like them colder if you can keep them colder than that like I did see a review once this guy put liquid nitrogen and he poured it on a solar panel uh, a whole array and he literally got the outputs up to like 10,000 watts it was crazy it was absolutely crazy I don't recommend doing that but that's a heck of a video to watch on the internet guys uh, cable length 118 inches I'm gonna do the math real quick because my brain is slow today that is um, whoop well, hold on one second here the calculator is not cooperating so uh, 118 divided by 12 is gonna be just under 10 feet of cable little on the short side I, I always like to see 10 uh, anywhere between uh, 10 to 20 feet on the cables um, I, I like that 15 20 because it gives you a longer reach I, I I do like that but you know you could just hook it up to one of your cables but I do like them in the uh, solar panels and that way when you go somewhere you have that extra cable so you don't have to fight so hard to get it all the way back to your power station you keep because you want to keep your power station in the shade guys you just you do uh, it's better for the batteries it's better for the heat it's better for everything <clears throat> it's better for uh, you know that Sun it'll fade the possibly the the color of your power station if you leave it in the Sun uh, what's in the box <clears throat> excuse me what's in the box is obviously a PV 420 panel you get the manuals and then the warranty card uh, you get you know blue Eddy gives you a pretty good warranty I gotta give him credit for that and then here's the downloadable uh, solar panel uh, uh, user manual right there so overall guys you know it, it doesn't look too bad I can't wait to try something like this uh, I've tried uh, two two uh, big foldable panels uh, I, I like one the other one I did not care for um, I think that's all the information we got it's uh, let's see it's 900 I'm, I'm gonna do a check real quick guys let me just uh, let me see what we got here we're gonna go to Amazon here oh, and then of course because I have my uh, safety blocker on for my my uh, my zone alarm here okay so we're gonna go PV 420 and then blue Eddy and we're gonna see what comes up let's see what kind of sale they have over there okay so I don't see it listed on their website as of yet um, let's go check inside their Amazon here in their blue Eddy store and we'll just kind of see what they're doing here uh, dun, 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 dun. 
more solar panels. Okay, let's let's see if they even have it. So they have the 200 there, uh, the 120. It's a 100 watt or 120 watt panel. Uh, the 200. Here's the 350. Okay, so notice that the 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 420 is not listed yet. Um, this one, this I got to try this. This was a nice panel too. But now that you have the 420, that's pretty cool. It was originally supposed to be the PV400, and then they changed it to the 420. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to wait and hopefully this will come out soon. I wish I'd get a bigger picture of this, but uh, very interesting panel, guys. Very interesting panel. Looking forward to, to seeing this on the market. All right, guys. Well, th this is kind of the, the the first view for me uh, as far as the uh, um, Luetti PB420 solar panel. Um, check it out if you'd like to. I'll leave a link to Bluetti's website and their Amazon page if you want to take a look. It's not on their Amazon page. This might be a pre-order thing. I'm not sure. Um, it says, let's see, here, add to cart. Let's let's see what it does here, guys. View cart. All right. Okay, so I, I guess you can order it. Uh, 900 bucks, guys. 899 bucks. And uh, I, I don't know if it's a pre-order or if it's a straight order. Uh, but uh, if you guys want to check it out, I'll, I'll leave the links down there. You can look at them. Uh, Amazon, like I said, I didn't see it on Amazon yet, but Blue Eddy has it on their website. They also have this AC300 and the B300 limited time offer. That's a system I'd love to get, guys. That uh, AC300 with four batteries is a monster, and then you can you can uh, you can put two together at the same time, and then you can have uh, um, 240 volts at 24,000 watts unbelievable amount of power these things are getting you know these are these are portable things you can carry around 24,000 that'll run your house for up to like it would run my house for a week but you know the average house probably about three days you know two three days depending on how much you you pull but all right guys we'll ramble on I just wanted to put a video up of uh, all the new stuff I always find and then uh, if this helps you cool if not okay but uh, leave a comment if you like the panel if you have it I'd love to hear more info about it uh, this new technology is always exciting, and I like to always ramble about it whenever I get a chance. All right, guys, be safe, ramble on, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.